Hi, welcome to Carolyn Braden's Turning the Ordinary into the Extraordinary. Do you have a winter event to go to or a woodlands event to go to? Well, if you do, I've got the project for you. In this video, I will teach you how to make this winter woodlands beautiful floral crown. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to a ball, even though this isn't a real dress. It's just fabric draped around me. Oh, I feel like I'm on Project Runway. <laughs> if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, do so now. I post all kinds of DIY videos and more. These are the items you will need for your project. A pair of scissors, some wire cutters, floral wire, a half inch satin covered headband, Two colors of tulle, I'm using a glittery gold, kind of a champagne color, and an ivory. And some wintry greenery, I'm using some silver berries, some gold covered eucalyptus, and some gold fern. The first thing you wanna do is snip your greenery from the giant stems, either using scissors or wire cutters. We'll start out with attaching the greenery to the headband with some small pieces of floral wire. I cut my floral wire into about 10 inch pieces just because it's a little easier to work with. And I've trimmed down my greenery into small pieces. That way they can go on the headband easily. To start, I'm gonna start at one end, lay it against the headband, and wrap the floral wire around the stem super, super tightly. I'll also weave it in between these small branches just to make sure I really get it down. The tool will also act to hold it down a little bit more. So you don't have to worry about how the floral wire works. Just make sure that whatever pieces you end with go on the top of the headband and not on the bottom. That way it doesn't poke the person in the head. So I've got the first one on. A little bit of this is sticking up. So I'm going to use a small piece of floral wire to get that down. So the first piece is on and now we're going to put on another piece. I'm just gonna lay it kind of behind the other piece like so, just getting it on there, and wrap the wire around it very tightly again. Kind of weave it to make sure that you don't pin down any of those other pieces. Now that I have two pieces going up, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the other side, get some kind of matching pieces on the other side, and attach those with my wire as well. Let's continue to put some leaves on the headband with the floral wire. So I've got the leaves on, now I think I wanna add the fern. It looks pretty just like this, and you can leave it just like this, but let's add a little bit of pretty gold. So we've got the leaves on, and I've kind of played around with placement for the fern and suggest you do the same. You don't have to make yours just like mine. If you wanna put no fern on there, or a lot of fern, or just one piece of fern, you can do it the way you wanna do it. So I've played around with it, and I found that I like it best kind of climbing up the side. So I'm gonna take the floral wire, and weave it through the fern pieces so I don't lock any of them down and get some of this on the headband. Mm -hmm. 
So I've got the fern on one side, now I'm gonna put it on the other side. To fit this small space at the top of the headband, I'm gonna cut this piece of fern down a little bit just to make it fit this space. And then use a piece of smaller floral wire to secure it down. When making your headband, always check what will be the front and the back because you want both sides to be nice. So while I've been doing this, I've been kind of flipping it over just to make sure it looks great on both sides. Do I look like a Woodlands princess yet? Maybe? We're getting there. Now we're gonna add on some of these really cool berries. So I have chopped these berries up into smaller segments from the pieces I cut earlier and I suggest you do the same because it'll be a little too awkward working with a longer piece. So we're gonna attach these the exact same way we attached all of the other pieces. You can either stop here or just keep going, and I'm choosing to keep going, and I'll have extras, so even after I get the tool on, I can add more. So let's go berries. I think I may have to ask my husband if we can renew our vows so I can wear this in another wedding. Oh, it's so cool. It's turning out exactly the way I expected it to and I hope yours is too. So now I'm going to add some tool. You don't have to, you can stop at this point because it looks pretty just as is, but I'm gonna add some tool because the tool adds a little bit of fullness and it also helps cover all the floral wire. Here's how you add the tool. For this next part of the project, we're going to make some tool ribbon by layering two pieces of tool. So I've rolled out the gold piece and now I'm going to roll out the ivory piece and put it on top. I've only rolled them out, this is about six inches. We're going to end up trimming this in the end, so if they're not perfectly all six inches, that's fine. Cut it, set this aside and we're gonna gather this, and this creates a piece of tulle ribbon. Then we're going to find a spot to start on the headband. I think I'm going to start maybe just up a little bit. You can start at the bottom and work your way up, but I'm just gonna start right about here. I'm gonna wiggle the tulle in between all of these pieces of fern and the berries and the eucalyptus and I'm gonna tie it onto the headband. If you've got a piece of fern or something that wants to get inside of where you're gonna tie it, just kind of wiggle it out. Take your time with this part so you don't mush down too much. So I've tied it once, wiggle my two pieces up a little, and we've got one on. I can see that this is a little bit too long. In the end, we'll go through and trim this but for now, I'm just going to leave it. And I'm going to continue to tie on some pieces of tulle ribbon. We'll make them a little bit shorter this time so we don't waste any. Make it into a ribbon. I'm gonna come down to the bottom this time Cover all of that floral wire. I don't like how this one piece of fern is sticking out. I remember looking in the mirror and thinking it kind of looked like a horn sticking out. So I'm gonna cut off that piece of fern. It might bother somebody's ears too, so that's why it's good to Check it in a mirror too as you make this. Put it on and see how it looks. So we've got this piece on. 
and let's just continue to make some more tool ribbon and tie it on we'll start here and we'll wiggle it in between all of these pieces and keep going till we come out this side and i already know this other piece of fern is going to bother me too so i'm going to snip that off as well you can already see how it's covering the wire very nicely on the inside of the headband Now that I have all the tool tied on, it's time to go in and trim it, especially around the edges that are going to be around the ears. A tool like this will probably brush down and touch somebody's ears and probably annoy them. So all we do to trim it is take your scissors and cut it down to the size that you want it. I would again, check yourself in the mirror, put it on, see what it looks like. And if it's too long, or you think that it's just doesn't look right, just trim it. I'm just gonna go through and use my scissors and trim any pieces that I think that are too long. At this point, I'm gonna try it on and see what I think. Oh, I see another piece of tool, snip. And if I wanna add more berries or greenery at this point, it would probably be best to hot glue it on, but I'm gonna go try this on and see what I think. It's very fancy. I really like it. I really, really like it. This project has many, many, many possibilities. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and you make it your own. Make it with different colors, different tool. Make it how you want to make it. If you have any questions or comments, put it in the comment section and I'll answer you as soon as I get a chance. Thanks for watching. Bye. Visit Carolyn's Blooming Creations.com